We worship you. We pray in your name, Father. We thank you right now, Father. We thank you for what you love in the morning, all our organs, all our tissue, all our limbs. Fuck it the way you make it up right now, Father. We thank you right now, Father, for the congregation right now. We don't come up for you right now, Father. In the body of the name of Jesus, Father. And there's a new sick among us right now, Father. We call them healed. Because you said you trust the Lord that you heal them right now, Father. We call them gold right now, Father. In the body of the name of Jesus, Father. Don't even shut the fire of them up. Let you come out that way, Father. We need to be the brother of Jesus, Father, right now, Father. We give you all the praise and all the glory, Father. And we thank you, Father, for this word that we hear word coming today, Father, that we won't be just healed of the word, but we will be doing for that word, Father. We won't turn to the left or the right, Father. We turn to your word, Father. Because we will have power in the word, Father. We thank you, Father. And Father, we thank you, Father, for those who are watching, Father. We call them healed. We call them gone. We call them delivered. And we thank you, Father, for what you're doing for them, Father. We thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. And we thank you for my life right now, Father. We live up before you right now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We call it home. We call it here right now, Father. You touch your word and you heal the Father. We thank that you shut up our mouth with this name, Lord. That you can renew like an eagle, Lord. We thank for no last when you shut up our in the name of Jesus, Father. And we give you praise right now, Father. We thank for our man of God. We lift him up for you right now, Father. We call him here. We call him pray. No evil shut up for him. No other power to give him the right, Father. We thank you for your name, God, Father. Pray that for some hope and a new future right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you right now, Father. For your word today, right now, Father. As you speak to him, Lord, use it for your glory, right now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We thank you right now, Father. We know that you say we come. We, we know you, you're defeated. You're defeated and finished life today in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Oh, Father, know how we love you, Jesus, because you first love us right now, Father. We give you all the praise, Father. We thank you that you can continue to keep the people right now, Father. That you have to keep the people right now, Father. That you can keep the people right now, Father. That you can keep the people safe, Father. That you can keep all that stuff, Father. That you send the leader by the field, Lord. You can keep the door out, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Hallelujah, Father. You said, this fucking love will not come out of our eyes, Father. If we made it there, then that we have good success in that, Father. So we thank you for good success in that, Father. We thank you, Father. We said, don't forget to send out something to give us that we may talk good one another. We thought we'd throw that in here before we came with that, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Oh, how we worship you, Father. So you are worthy to be praised, Father. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. But Lord, follow on this day today. Follow on this day. The Lord is faith, Father. So you wish that you are something together. You are in our midst right now, Father. We thank you, Father. We give you all that praise, Father. And all that glory right now, Father. And we continue to worship you right now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. So we thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Oh, 
Y'all believe in love for sex. Y'all believe in the power of sex. Y'all believe in what I want you to be.
about all the connections and hook up that we made. That we are daily connected and hooked up to the Lord. But that's the only way we're going to get through what we're in. Amen. But now let me tell you something. Don't, don't, don't think this thing is over. Hallelujah. Because it might have led up. Led up is over to two complete different things. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking about coronavirus. I'm not talking about the political crap. I'm not talking about the racism. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the war that the enemy has raised. Hallelujah. Against the people of God. Listen, it's not over. We got to make sure that we are stuck, stable, and strong in the Lord and in the power of His mind.
iPad or whatever you're reading from and repeat these words after me. I hold in my hand. I hold in my hand. The, the word of God. The word of God. God's word is life. God's, God's word is life. God's word is spirit. God's word is spirit. God's word is power. God's word is power. To everyone that believes. To everyone that believes. I am a believer. I am a believer. I am a believer. And God's word works. And God's word works. If I work, if I work. Psalms 86 division said, Bow down your ear, O Lord, hear me. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am holy. You are my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Rejoice the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, I will lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to, my, to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, nor are there any works like your works. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. You are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Father, I thank you now, God, for allowing us this space and time to come together to worship your name in the beauty of hope. We thank you, Lord God, for the songs of praise, the prayers that have gone forth, Lord God. And we pray that our songs, Lord God, the words from our lips have been a sweet sound to your ear. And Father, now I ask you, God, to open our hearts and our minds, Lord God, that we receive what you have to say to us, Lord God, out of the word today. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your truth. Thank you, Lord God, that your eyes are upon us and your ears are open unto our cry. We declare, Lord God, because we believe with everything in us, Lord God, that we'll be better by what we receive out of the word today. For indeed, God, there is none like you. You are God alone. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for giving us the earnest of your spirit. Thank you for giving us your word to guide us, to heal us, to strengthen us as we go through this life in the kingdom. Father, we just thank you right now. Bless every house that's receiving this word today, every home, every family, Lord God, that is a part of what we're doing now in this moment. Let us all be blessed, healed, delivered, encouraged, strengthened, whatever you will have for us, we're open to receive it. As we give your name the glory, we give your name the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. David said, but thou art great, does wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Amen. Today is a part one of a new series I'll be preaching over the next few weeks entitled, It's God for Me. Amen. And that's our first message today out of what David said. Amen. But thou art great and does wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, Amen. it's God for me. It's God for me. Amen. 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 No disrespect on what anybody else chooses to worship or what they choose to do with their time, but it's God for me. Amen. 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 God for me. He's God and he's God alone. Thank you praise God for our visitors that are with us in here today. Amen. My old co-worker and friend. Amen. Reverend Leonard Brown, thank God for him being with us today. Help me give him our praise. Amen. 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 To our visitors who are here, amen with us. Amen. To the Brown's co worker, we thank God for you all joining us as well. Amen. Don't take it lightly that you chose to worship with us today. Thank God for you. But yeah, no disrespect to anybody else for whatever they want to do. You know what I mean? But it's God for me. Amen. I hope it's God for you. Amen. Because as David declared, he's God and he's God alone. Now to me, and I'm careful when I make statements like this because this is just my heart, what I feel. This is an opinion, but I think it's based on what I've studied. And to me, David 
is second to none as it comes to expression, amen, of what God had done in his life. You know what I'm saying? Just who God was to David in relationship to me, out of all the writers of Scripture, he, he was second to none. He, 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 was, he was always willing and so honest and open about expressing what God was and who God was to him in his life. And so many times we, you know, we, we get shamed about expressing the power of God in our life because of who we're around. You know, we, we, we get shamefaced about, you know, telling somebody we're saved. Tell somebody, you know, God pulled me through or, or what he delivered us from. But David wasn't like that. You know, but David, he was, he was born and said, oh, before D and D only, have I seen it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's, nothing that I do is hidden from God. Amen. And so he, he knew God and he expressed all the time throughout his songs that he wrote, hallelujah, just who God was to him. He expressed his needs for God, right? Because David often would say, Lord, lead me to a rock that's, that's higher than I. He would be the one that would say, uh, Lord, my enemies are mightier than I. He always expressed his, in Psalm 20, in the 23rd Psalm, the one we quotes when he was kid, he would say, Lord, you are my shepherd. And because of God, I don't lack anything. I see what I want. And he started talking about how the Lord leads him beside the still water, how he restored his soul. Amen. How he led him in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah. And then he always talked about it. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. Why? Because you're with me. Yeah. He always expressed his need for God. Yeah. He also expressed his abilities. He talked about the abilities of God. Amen. Yeah. He, because he said, Look, look, if, if, if the Lord is on my side, hallelujah, I don't feel what man should do to me. That was the kind of mind that he had. He said, when the wicked even my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. Why? Because of God that was on his side. David, to me, was a man when it came down to the expressions of the magnitude of the power of God in one's life that is connected to him. He expressed the power of God against his enemies. He expressed his total dependence on God. And that goes back to Psalm 20, 23. That's, that's, a, that's about dependence on God. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of I will fear no evil. He said, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with all my cup running over. He said, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. He was talking about his dependence, his total dependence on God. What I love is that David gives glory to God the way that we should in our prayers. These songs and prayers, if any time David. Talked about himself. He was talking about how he was nothing in himself aside from the hand of God in his life. He would make reference to how God had led him through many kind of battles and brought him up to victory so many times. Hallelujah. And, and the, the thing I like is the way he gave God glory in this. We should praise God. Hallelujah. We should praise him, attributing kingdom, power, and glory to him and him alone with the utmost humility. Surely we both come boldly before the throne of grace, but humbly knowing that everything we need is right there in his feet. We should praise God. We should approach him in that way. We can look all the way back to Genesis in the beginning. Talk about his God for me. Remember, keep that in mind. All the way back to Genesis and in the beginning, there was no conference. Follow him. There was no consultant present. There was no co-writer or co-speaker. There was no one seconding the motion. Genesis 1 and 1 says, in the beginning, God. That's it. Just him. In the beginning, just God. In the beginning, God created all that is. That's why church is God for me. No replacement. No second place. Hallelujah. No alternative choice. It's God for me. That's it. Anybody feel like David? Hallelujah. That, that he said, but beside me there is no other. Thou art God and God alone. Hallelujah. I feel like David. I, I want you to feel like David. I want you to feel like me to know, hallelujah, that we serve a God, hallelujah, that is second to none. We serve a God that the only way he can be matched is if he was to match himself. It's God for me. Hallelujah. I done tried all the other stuff. When I tried God, that's when I, when I came over, how to get really locked in and really connected, that's when I realized that it was God for me and nothing else. 
God is a God of unparalleled perfection. Hallelujah. Such a one that there is none like him, hallelujah, or any to be compared to him. That's in verse 8. He said there was none like him. None like him. No one that can be compared to our gods. Now listen, among the gods, little g's. Right? Because there are little g's. Among the gods, those false gods, that those that were around David worship in heathen worship, the angels, the kings of the earth, among them all there is none like unto our God. David knew this and so he declared. Does anybody know ain't nobody like God? There is none like God. Well, can, you, can, you, can you declare that there is none like God? Therefore, it's God for me. It's my choice. I, I'll take him for mine. I just want to encourage you to let it be God for you. He yes. yes. said, uh, not in these many words, but, but, but I get the gist of what he was saying. They would say, it's God for me. I see all of my enemies are serving all these other gods, but it's this God for me, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, hallelujah, that has pulled me through, that, and he's also the God of Rob, too. Hallelujah. I don't want to leave myself out, but he's not just the God of those that we read about. He's the God of me. He's the God of us. Amen. We should also know and declare, just like David declared, that there is none like thee. Oh Lord, none so wise, so mighty, so good, neither are there any works like unto his works. Hallelujah, which is an undeniable proof that there is none like him. And he said, his own works praise him. Yeah. Yeah. I done put stuff together and they said a thing to me. Lord, help me. <laughs> Struggled to put stuff together, and when I was done, I looked at it, and it didn't say a thing to me. But the works of the Lord, hallelujah, his own works, praise him. Where am I going with that? Yes, that's why God is so good, and his works are so wonderful, that the very works of his hand, they praise him. Who are the works of his hand? That's you. That's me. We are the works of his hand. Hallelujah. And we should praise him and only him. But that's for those of us who know there's nobody like him. Anybody know there's nobody like God? Hallelujah. I, I wish I had some folk who have seen his hand. Hallelujah. Who have, who have witnessed that mercy. Hallelujah. Who have felt that grace. Who knew that if it had not been for the Lord, who was on your side. Hallelujah. Everything that the devil would have wanted to do. Would have done, but because he couldn't and he didn't because of my God, I'm gonna be one of his works that's gonna give him praise. For those of us that know it, I wish you to clap me that nobody like him. Hallelujah, nobody like him. No other source. Hallelujah, no other healer. Hallelujah. God is our source. Everything else is a resource. No other source. No other healer. Folk and tree. Hallelujah. But God can heal. No other deliverer. No other God. It's just him. <laughs> It's just God for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This day is so good for me, Lord. Have mercy. I'm trying to contain myself because I got information I need to give out before I inspire you. But I wish you would just look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, it's God for me. Amen. Now ponder on God and his majesty. I pondered on as I thought. I was sitting there and I thought about God and his majesty and how his effectiveness, it doesn't waver. God is always effective. He's, he's always enough. He's always got enough. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it's not that we can find him God today and then tomorrow because it's not Sunday. He's not God. Another verse says, from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. From moment to moment, second to second, day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, lifetime to lifetime, he is still God and it's God for me. Can't for the life of me after thinking about how unwavering God's effectiveness is. I can't for the life of me get how folk who know it was God that pulled them through. 
okay, for the life of me, understand how people who have once tasted, hallelujah, the Lord and saw that he was good, yeah. experienced, hallelujah, miracles in their life, folk who were cast off and written off and considered as nothing. I can't understand for the life of me, hallelujah, how it's just not God for them. Hallelujah. It's God on Sunday, but then Monday, they're chasing something else on Tuesday, something else after that and Wednesday, something else after that, whatever the new fad is, that's what they're chasing. But listen, all that God has done for me in my life, all the things he's performed in my life, all the ways he's made, all the doors he's opened, I'm not looking for any other option. It's God for me. how we so easily look to some of the source. We get frustrated because God didn't show up by the time we said amen in our prayer. We start looking for some of the source. But I'm going to wait on the Lord. I, I, I rather wait on the Lord, hallelujah, and just say, it's God for me. I'm not going to try nothing else. That looks appetizing. That looks inviting. But I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to bother that, hallelujah, because I believe, hallelujah, that God's ears will open unto my cry. He heard me when I prayed. I'm just going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to be a good courage. And this same day the Lord, when you do that, he will stick in your heart. And at the end, he said, wait, I say, oh, the Lord, why? Will I wait on the Lord when there's all these other options because I made the decision that it's God for me. Amen. David praised God as the fountain of all boom, the center of all praise. In verse 9 of the scriptures that we read, he said, Thou hast made all nations, made them all of one blood. They all derive from you and have constant dependence on you. And therefore they shall come and worship before thee and glorify thy name. Even those nations who don't worship God were made to worship God. Hear me what I'm telling you. Everything God made, hallelujah, it was created in his image, hallelujah, to worship him for just being created by God. And some folks, some nations, even then and even now, make the choice to serve some other God. But as for me and my house, as Joshua said, we will serve the Lord. Why? Because it's God for me. I don't know no other way. It's God for me. And here's how God did it. Hallelujah. He did it through Christ. It was by Christ that God made all nations. For without him was not anything made that was made. That was scripture. And therefore, through Christ and by the power of the gospel and the grace of God, hallelujah, that we receive through Jesus Christ, all of us, all nations, hallelujah, will be brought before God to worship. Christ proved God's love to us through and by his sacrifice of love. And after all of that, who wouldn't feel like David felt and declare, God, there is nobody like you. You are God alone. Hallelujah. Our God, listen to me when I tell you this, he is infinitely great. And no other God, according to verse 10, hallelujah, is a match to him. Therefore, all nations shall worship before thee, because as king of nations, hallelujah, thou alone art God. Church, it is God for me. Hallelujah. Why is God for me and only for me? Because he's great. Hallelujah. He said in the scripture, you do miracles. You are great. You do miracles. Hallelujah. And listen, a miracle only is needed when there's a situation where our natural means can't take care of it. And there have been some times in my life where the natural was not working and supernaturally God stepped in and performed the miracle. Hallelujah. That's why it's God for me. Hallelujah. Because nobody else can come through like God can. I wish I had a witness in here. Hallelujah. That know, that you know, that you know, that if it had not been for the Lord, it's God for me, I'm telling you. It's God for me. I, and listen, and here's what the thing got to be. Brother Taylor, we got to get to the point where we know God for ourselves. Hallelujah. Because we base it too much of our relationship with God on folk who change like the weather. Let me tell you something. I believe it was just Thursday. It was almost, it was high 80s. And then yesterday it was in the 50s. This morning it was in the 50s. And they say by Friday it's going to be 91. Some folk change on the Lord like the weather changed. But listen, let me tell you something. If he does nothing else, he has already done it up. It's God for me. He's great. He's great.
great. His sovereignty is absolute and incontestable. Yeah. Uh, in other words, you can't beat God. I heard somebody say, you can't beat God's gift. No matter how you try. Not only is he great and his sovereignty is absolute and incontestable, but his majesty is awe-inspiring. We say uh, our God is awesome. Yes, he is awesome. And the good thing about our God is that he needs no support. He's God all by himself. But he don't need no support. He don't need no backing. He don't need nobody to front him. He don't need nobody to fund his operation. Hallelujah. God is God all by himself. Anybody know the Lord like I do? Hallelujah. It's God for me. His power is universal and irresistible. Hallelujah. There's no searching of his understanding. I'm talking to you about the great God that we serve. His riches are great and they have no end. Hallelujah. And the Bible declared that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, or it says the fullness thereof. See, it's God for me because anything I need, so to Him, I can take it to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. And sooner or later, or like the old folks say, after a while and by and by. Hallelujah. The older saints had something that they knew. Hallelujah. God better than they knew money. They, they knew God better than they knew possessions. They knew God better than they knew anything else. But we have come to a point in our life where we're so educated, we're so money rich. Hallelujah. But we're faith poor. Hallelujah. And that's why I want you to know today, hallelujah, that regardless of what's going on in or around us, hallelujah, we have to make our choice that it's God for me. Anybody say it's God for me. Hallelujah. Man, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. His dominion is boundless and unquestionable. Hallelujah. And for the proof of this is, he does wondrous things. That's what David said. Thou hast done wondrous things which all nations admire. And after all of this that David declared, hallelujah, he said, thou art God alone. He didn't say you're the second best God. He didn't say, hallelujah, I'm having to look at these things as compared to the other gods, but he do personally for himself. And saints of God, it's time that we know that we know that we know that there is no other God that can perform but he's like our God. And I get some help in here today. Hallelujah, no other God is like our God. I tried it and I know that there's no other source that can give me what I need. That's why I stand like David say that it's God for me. And if it's God for you today, you might not mind giving God some praise. I give him some glory. Hallelujah to God. And when we come to know God like David did, the awesome attributes of our God, we'll tell anybody that comes to us with any other doctrine, you're going to meet some folk that serve other gods. You can tell them, I hear you, but I hear what you say, but I know what you're doing, but I know where you're going, but I found the Lord a long time ago, and he never failed me yet. He might have been paid with a woman, but he never failed me yet. It's God for me. Is it God for you today, saints? Is it God for you, church? Hallelujah, God. This is the same God. If you read your Bible, one day on Mount Carmel, there was a battle taking place. There was one man, Elijah, that stood up against the prophets of Baal. There was about 400 and some of them. And they were the prophets of Baal. And Elijah said, I, even I, stand alone as a prophet of God. Before the saying even came about, Elijah was saying, it's God for me. He told the prophets of Baal, I'm going to give you the first two sacrifices. He gave them the morning and the afternoon sacrifice. And they called on their God. And nothing happened. Hallelujah to God. They can do all they can. 
time is short. Hey. He told them to rebuild the altar. Hey. So they rebuilt the altar. Hey. He told them to dig the trench around it. Hey. So they dug the trench as he said. Hey. And he said, fill the trench with water. Hallelujah, hey. God. Hey. So they filled the trench with water. Hey. But lo and behold, hey. when Elijah called hey. on the day of his God, hey. fire rain down from heaven. Hey. I'm the one.
Choose God. Let him change your life around. Hallelujah. Don't let them polish fool you. Hallelujah. And make you think that I ain't need God to change me. That I ain't need him to, to reshape my life. Hallelujah. Nothing else I tried did it. When I put my hand in his hand, hallelujah, he pulled me through. He pulled me out. And I'm bold enough to say I'm still out. Amen. Because sometimes God pull us out. And when he pulls us out, we're doing this the whole time. He pulled us and we're doing this. Looking back. Come in, last wife. The instructions were to run and don't look back. But that one glance at what God had told her to leave behind cost her everything. Don't let what the, 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 the allure uh, and the flashing lights and the loud music and the and the good looking part of what's behind you pull you from where God is trying to take you. But let me tell you this, what's ahead of us is far greater than what God has pulled us out and through. It's far greater. Here we are, here we are crying over spilled milk. But you crying over something you ain't even gonna put in your seat. Crying over. Still milk, crying over broken dreams. Crying over broken, bad relationships. When God got whole good stuff waiting for us. And we got children though. We got children. Church is God for me. Amen. You gotta partner up with somebody who has the same mindset. The Lord God declared, how can two walk together? <laughs> Except they be agreed. Because if we're not agreeing and we're walking together, at some point there's going to come some friction and some contention on which way to go. You gotta be like-minded with somebody else to say, it's God for me. And that person has to say, yes, yeah, it's God for me too. Okay, let's go. And we can walk, we ain't gotta worry about the friction because at the end of the day, this is where we're gonna go to find out where we should go. My God, for me, I, I, I don't know no other way. I've been serving the Lord on this side as faithfully as I can for over 20 something years. And the enemy will try to trick me to try something else after all this time. Mr. Reverend Brown, remember, unpolished me? We were working out at a pie crest together. <laughs> he didn't even know that he probably, probably didn't know he never said nothing. The number of days I came in to work to work with children, high as a kite. Hiding behind the tent in my glass. I figured they couldn't see my eyes because my glasses were good. Mr. Oh, Brown, he's sitting at the table, he'll talk about the Lord. Even if he's dying, he'll talk about the Lord. I'll go somewhere else and I ain't want to hear that. I'll find something else to do. A few months later. Hallelujah. There was a knocking on my heart. The Lord said, hey, look at me now. All right, God, I'm ready. And that's when we got to get to the point where we say, okay, God, I'm ready. I'm not looking for any other resource. I'm not looking for any other way to do this. I want to choose you for mine. Because you are God and God alone. David declared out of all the other gods, there is none like you. None like you. And I say that with everything in me because I believe it with everything in me. There is nobody like God. And that's why I say, it's God for me. There's a lot of folks trying to do a whole lot of stuff right now. I'm going to share with God. 
want to say to God. At one point, the Lord asked the disciples, I'm going to go. The Lord asked the disciples, after he had Jesus was speaking, all the other folks heard the marvelous words that the Lord spoke. The Bible said at that point, many of them turned and they walked no more with it. But the stuff got tough. So he turned to the disciples and said, and I'm paraphrasing. He said, what about you? You go on to it. Scripture says, he said, will I go away also? And one disciple had sense enough to say, Lord, where are we going? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and we are sure that our Lord the Christ, the Son of the living God, and when you know God without doubt, when you know, hallelujah, his son that redeemed us, you can say to his God, for me, I understand there's going to be some folk that are going to, they're going to fall away. Some folk are going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Some are going to fall for the okie doke. But I, I, it's God for me. It's God for me. It's God for me now. It's God for me now. Anybody else believe that today? Anybody yeah. feel that today? Yeah. It's just God for me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's give the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Thank you for being God. Thank you for blessing. Thank you for being God. 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 No other. In your life. It's God for me, Brother Brown. I, I, I don't come too far to turn around now. God is. God is. That's why I am, because he is. That's why you are, because he is. Amen? Amen. Trust God for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you that we can search all over. We won't find nobody like you. No other God that's able to heal. No other God that's able to save. No other God that's able to deliver. No other God Hallelujah, that is able to set the captive free. David declared, and I believe it, therefore I speak, because we believe it, that there is none like you. You are God, and you are God alone. God, help us now to make the choice to serve you. Help us now, Lord God, to cast off the works of darkness. Help us now, Lord God, to lay aside every sin and way, God, and choose you wholeheartedly to be everything in our life. God, we declare today from our inner being, Lord God, the uttermost part of us, oh God, that it's you for us because you're already for us. God, we choose you. We choose you, God. Father, forgive us for entertaining other things, Lord God, and placing you in the place where only you should dwell in our life. Forgive us, God. For our ignorance, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God, of our sin and our sinfulness. And Lord God, pull us a little sick again. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we won't make no excuses. It's you for us, Lord God. We're willing to stand on that, Lord God, today. Even if it's just you and us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. So, Father, I'm praying today, right now, Lord God, for everyone under the sound of my voice that you would heal not just by this Lord God it's primarily our focus most of the time God but heal our spirits heal our minds Lord God heal our emotions Lord God Father that we can see through all of the smoke and know that you are God alone know that there is none like you God we want to see through all of the smoke we want to hear you from all of the noise know that there is nothing like you and you are God and also Father heal us save us, deliver us, set us free in the name of Jesus fix what's broken make right what's wrong in us Lord in the name of Jesus we come to you because only you can do it you are God alone only you can do it so God that's why we come to you so Lord work your work in our life Continue to pull us through. Continue to take us through. Continue to elevate us, Lord God, in the way that you see fit. We thank you for it right now. We declare you are our God. We 
are your children. No one else is for us. And there shall be no one else beside you in our life. And we thank you right now. As we give your name the glory, we give your name the honor, and we give your name all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Come on, everybody. Right give the Lord the praise.
feet, amen. We thank you, praise God. Again, for all of you being with us today, continue to keep us in prayer. Amen. We'll see y'all Wednesday night uh, on our Facebook Live. Amen. And I think we're going to be preparing to come back in the sanctuary once the summertime gets. Amen. And restart up our Bible study. Amen. We're going to get some things worked on. And we'll be starting back live here in the sanctuary sometime this summer. Amen. 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 Amen.